Hi, my name is David Decker from DeckerWeb and you want to build multilingual websites with WordPress using Polylang and Elementor? Now you can! Polylang is the most popular free multilingual plugin for websites in different languages. It's really awesome. And Elementor is the most popular and best page builder for WordPress and with Elementor Pro you get the best website builder for WordPress available. And now my plugin connects both of these, Polylang and Elementor. It's free on WordPress.org and what it brings, uh, awesome native Elementor language switcher widget. This widget you will find in the team builder section when you are editing a template in Elementor, this is a header template, and here on the site category you see the polylang switcher and also in the general section. This is the general section, you will find it at the end. So you always can get the polylang switcher widget or just using polylang or language or switcher. Whatever you type in it will appear. So I've already set it up here. Let's see the attributes you can edit. It brings you a content section. You have the horizontal or vertical layout that is vertical and horizontal. The vertical is perfect for sidebars like this one. You can align it. Let's give it a bit more space. Like, like this. So you can left align it, right align it, justify or center. That is perfectly fine. You can hide the current language in a language switcher. You maybe you are on the on the English version of the website and you have it in three other languages, so you can make it disappear the English one and only show the the translated languages in the switcher. That is nice, and you can also hide all languages with no translation. That means in the language switcher on a given content only those languages appear that have available translation. Really cool feature as well. And you can make the country flag showing or not. We want it back. You can show the language name and you can show the language code. So this is what Polylang gives you. We make we switch back the name and the language code and you can also have the widget appear in language contexts. So you can say maybe you want the switcher widget only in English or you want it only appear on German content. So this is also a really handy feature. And of course you can style it. You have, can style the normal, the hover and the active state. Uh, this is for the type, typography and the text. Uh, the normal hover and active state are for the, the text, not for the flags or whatever, but for the text of this, of this widget. And for the active state you have an additional hover styling. Active means the active language. You maybe have five languages and you're, you are viewing German content. So that is the active language then. So you can uh, the horizontal padding, that means um, space between different languages. You have vertical padding, that uh, is a bit, bit more space on top and bottom. And you uh, have space between. This is um, between the whole language parts. So if you have the vertical padding, this applies 
as well. So jump back into style and this is the, the space between. Really nice feature. So let's get back to horizontal again. So you can also set a border if you want. Um, let's connect. Let's connect this. You can also use this one if you want. I don't like that, but maybe you like that. So, then for the country flag, you can set additional padding. Like this one, we don't want that. <laughs> so, let's, let's get back it. So, you can between flag and language name. Let's back to 10. The same for the, the language name. You can have language name in uppercase, of course, and the language code the same margin, and you can have uppercase as well, and maybe a text before. So you can you have before. If you want a additional, you have to wait this one. That is a hard a hard space and after the same just make a hard space before this one and you can have a nice effect with this. Okay, back to normal and in advanced you have all the existing options from Elementor as well. But really nice, really nice and easy, really simple stuff and uh, the styling, it's much more than Polylang regular WordPress widget offers. Elementor is the best anyways. So that is a great widget edition. Have fun with it and thanks for watching.